Hey, y'all. So, you know we need to talk about Jennifer Williams, right? I mean, she's one of those people who always has us talking, especially after what's been going on lately with her new husband, Christian Gold. Yes, you heard me right. Husband. Jennifer is no longer engaged. She's officially married. But girl, I wish it was all rainbows and butterflies. Let me fill you in because the tea is piping hot. And this story keeps getting messier. So Jennifer's marriage to Christian Gold has been a huge topic on social media and all the gossip blogs. And while everyone was excited for her when the engagement happened, now that they've tied the knot, people are starting to look at Christian sideways. Why, you ask? Well, it all started when Christian told Jennifer he's a multimillionaire. Yep, he claimed to have a net worth of $6 million. Sis, when someone throws out numbers like that, you know folks are gonna do some digging. Christian told Jennifer his wealth came from trading and investing. Sounds legit, right? But it doesn't stop there. He also said he runs an investment business, managing other people's money. Girl, that's where things started to get a little sketchy. Nobody really questioned it until a particular moment from the latest season of Basketball Wives went viral. There's this scene where Christian confesses to Jennifer that he had to pay nearly $250,000 in restitution after being sentenced for false imprisonment in 2015. Sis, when people heard that, eyebrows were raised. The next thing you know, the internet detectives got to work. And let me tell you, what they found wasn't pretty. This is where things get even crazier. Attorney Simone Redwine decided to take a closer look at Christian's story. And what she uncovered, girl, had me clutching my pearls. Court documents show that Christian's restitution was actually just $12,500, not $250,000, like he told Jennifer. And get this, because Christian's a convicted felon, he can't even legally invest on behalf of other people. Simone also couldn't find any assets under Christian's legal name. So where is all this money he's talking about coming from? Hmm, something ain't adding up. Now, just when you think this couldn't get any messier, it does. A few days ago, Christian found himself in even hotter water when a warrant was issued for his arrest. And sis, do you want to know why? Because he left the state of Georgia without getting permission from his probation officer. And guess how they found out? From pictures that Jennifer posted on Instagram. Yes, social media strikes again. Christian's legal team quickly tried to handle the situation by requesting a hearing in September. They're trying to keep him from getting locked up before the wedding. And on top of that, they want Christian taken off probation completely so he can travel freely. They were even planning to head to Paris for their big day. But with everything going on, those plans might be on hold. But sis, it doesn't end there. Some of Christian's so-called clients are now coming forward, saying that they were scammed by him. They're claiming that Christian took their money, promising them big investment returns, and now they're out of pocket. To make matters worse, about 20 people have filed FBI complaints against him. They reached out to Simone, sharing their stories on her YouTube channel. These folks believe that the money Christian took from them might have been used to fund Jennifer's luxurious lifestyle. Her cars, her bags, her fabulous outfits, and even her wedding. Attorney Simone made a point that stuck with me. She's offering to send a letter to the judge asking that Christian not be allowed to leave the country until he returns the money to these alleged victims. But here's the kicker. She's only doing this if the victims file official complaints with the FBI because, girl, lying to the FBI is a federal crime. And apparently, about 20 people have already done it. Simone is on top of this, and it looks like the authorities are too. So, ladies, what do we make of this whole situation? I mean, here we are, Jennifer Williams has finally gotten married to Christian Gold, and instead of celebrating love, we're dealing with scandal and serious allegations. It's like every time Jennifer tries to move forward in life, drama finds her. And the big question on everyone's mind right now is, did Jennifer marry someone who's genuinely in love with her, or has she unknowingly gotten herself caught up in something much darker? Let's be real. Christian's story has a lot of holes, and it's raising eyebrows for a reason. From claiming to be a multimillionaire with a $6 million net worth to managing other people's money through investments? Yet somehow, there's no trace of these alleged millions. 
Then there's the fact that he's a convicted felon who isn't even legally allowed to invest on behalf of others. It doesn't help that attorney Simone Redwine couldn't find any real assets under his name. And the restitution number? What Christian told Jennifer and what the court documents show are two very different figures. You can't help but feel like something just isn't adding up. But then we have these alleged victims coming forward. They're saying that Christian took their money and they're filing complaints with the FBI. Sis, that's not small time drama. We're talking about potentially serious legal consequences, not just for Christian, but for Jennifer too, depending on how deep she's involved. These people believe the money Christian took was used to fund Jennifer's lifestyle. The luxury cars, the designer bags, even the wedding itself. If that's true, this could turn into a much bigger scandal. I genuinely hope that Jennifer isn't being taken advantage of. She's been through a lot over the years. Her ups and downs in relationships have played out in front of the public eye, and she deserves happiness. But as much as I want to believe that this is just a big misunderstanding, I can't ignore all the red flags, the court drama, the FBI complaints, and the probation violations. It's a lot for anyone to deal with, let alone someone who's just tied the knot. At the end of the day, whether Christian is who he says he is or not, Jennifer is now in the middle of a storm. Only time will tell how this plays out, but for her sake, I hope she's able to figure things out sooner rather than later. Marriage should be a happy time, but with all this drama swirling around, it's hard to imagine how she's going to move forward without some serious answers. So, ladies, what do you think? Is Jennifer in over her head? Is Christian hiding something? Or is this just a case of misunderstanding and bad timing? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. One thing's for sure. This story is far from over, and I'll be keeping my eye on it. Stay tuned for more updates as we follow the twists and turns of Jennifer Williams's marriage journey. And remember, no matter what life throws your way, always protect your peace. But wait, sis, before you go anywhere, you absolutely have to check out our next video. It's even juicier than this one. We're talking about a story that's guaranteed to leave you shook. If you thought Jennifer's marriage scandal was wild, just wait until you hear what we've uncovered next. The drama, the secrets, and the jaw-dropping revelations will have you on the edge of your seat. I'm talking about a scandal so deep, it might just change how you see one of your favorite celebs forever. You know how it is. There's always more to the story, and we've got the inside scoop you didn't even know you needed. Click on the video right now to get all the juicy details, because trust me, it's a ride you won't want to miss. And while you're at it, don't forget to like this video, drop a comment with your thoughts, and subscribe if you haven't already.